Hi guys, today let's set up Cento 7 Virtual Machine. Now we are in VMware Virtual Machine Free Software. Select this ESO, other version, may not work on Apple M1 chip. Select Debian 64-bit ARM, cause Apple M1 is ARM architecture. We can change the RAM to 4GB and hard disk to 64GB. We change RAM and hard disk like this. Now let's start the VM. Choose Install CentOS 7 and wait for it. Next will be some configuration, just follow me. I choose OS with GNOME GUI. Choose this 64GB hard disk to install OS. Set root user password. Create another normal user. Turn on VM network. Please take note of the IP address. In my case, the IP address is 192.168.57.138. Can also change the device name. Set the VM time. Let's start the installation. It's finished, let's reboot. Simply accept the license. Now we can log in as normal user. Nice, good job. Right click and open a terminal. Use if config to see IP address again. Edit IFC FGN's 160 file to set up static IP address. I believe you know how to do that in Linux. Save the change. Use service network restart to refresh network. Let's see if network works using pinggoogle.com. It's working. Financial is a nice SSH client software. I will use it to connect to the VM. Just simply input the IP address and user info. Everything is OK. Let's install Java 11 Open JDK with root user. Yum install Java 11 Open Devil. Check Java version. It is still Java 8. Use this command to choose Java 11 as default.
You can see job 11 is selected. Java compiler is also available. I would like to install IntelliJ IDEA and PyCharm. Download ARM64 version for both. In Financial, we can simply upload download files. Use normal user to unzip both software. You can choose to give them shorter name. Start idea dots like this, oh my fault it can only start in GUI. After it started in GUI with user, try to create a Java project. I realize I cannot see the green arrow, something is wrong. After I restarted the VM, it works. The example program can be run. Before run PyCharm, let's install Anaconda to install Python. Anaconda requires glibc to dot to five, so I choose Archaconda. Press space key to skip. No worries we need to refresh user.bashrc. We can use Anaconda now. Let's create a virtual env called PySparkEnv with Python 3.8 installed. Activate the virtual env. We can see PySparkEnv at the front. Let's use pip to install PySpark Python package. Let's test it. Looks okay. Now we can try to start PyCharm. Select the PySpark and Conda environment. Oh no, something is wrong. It cannot find the interpreter. This is because the Conda tool version is too low. After I update the Conda version to 4.103, it works. You can do Conda update Conda or Conda install CONDA equals 4.10.3. You can see them is found by PyCharm. Wait for it. Now everything is okay. Happy coding. Now we can shut down the VM and take a snapshot of it. 
click this camo icon to take a snapshot. We can recover to this snapshot in the future. That's all for today. Let me know what videos you would like to see. Thank you.